This video gives an overview of Nora's underground oil tank static test process. This procedure should only be performed by qualified technicians who have completed the Nora Static Test Process Training and Certification Program. For information on certification classes in your area, contact your local oil heat trade association. For a number of years, the oil heat industry has sought to develop a reliable yet inexpensive tank assessment process that can determine if underground heating oil storage tanks are free of leaks. Today's cathodically protected STIP 3, ACT 100, and fiberglass tanks typically carry 30-year warranties and are of low concern due to their resistance to corrosion. But many residential underground tanks in use today predate these modern standards and materials. And we know that a majority of these older tanks are made of bare steel. Bare steel tanks are of increased concern as the tank has little inherent resistance to corrosion. There are a number of integrity test methods available. Most were designed for testing large commercial tanks. They are expensive and the availability of reputable qualified contractors to perform them is limited. According to the National Fire Protection Association, pressure testing of residential underground tanks with air or other inert gases is not recommended and should be discouraged. To address the need for an accurate yet inexpensive tank assessment that can be performed on a large number of tanks in a short period of time without a large investment in equipment, NORA has developed the Residential Underground Storage Tank Static Test Process. Properly employed, this process enables you to offer your oil heat customers the peace of mind of knowing their tank is not suspected of leaking. And it allows your company to confidently continue making deliveries to the tank. NORA's static test process is actually more accurate than the manual tank gauging process designed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. In fact, NORA's static test has been developed to have a 95% probability of detecting a small leak and only a 5% probability of indicating a false alarm. It can be performed on any tank that can be taken out of service for one week. If the oil burner attached to the tank cannot be taken out of service for that period, there are two alternatives. The oil lines to the tank can be disconnected and capped, and a temporary fuel supply connected to the oil burner in accordance with applicable local regulations. Or, an oil flow meter can be attached to the system to monitor the amount of oil that is consumed during the test period. To perform the NORA static tank test, you'll need two solid, non-folding wooden tank sticks with at least 1 8 inch notched increments. They must be able to reach the tank bottom without any extensions or strings attached. You'll also need an outside air thermometer, water finding paste, product gauging paste, a tape measure, a permanent marker, a pen, and a pre-printed data form. The basic steps in the NORA static tank test include fill the tank to a normal full level, which is generally 90% of capacity or more. Record the level after delivery. Wait 72 hours for the temperature of the new oil and the tank itself to stabilize. Then accurately measure the oil level. Carefully record your readings. Then wait a full 72 hours and measure the oil level again. Record the second measurement and compare the results. If there is a one quarter inch or greater difference in the two measurements, further analysis and additional testing is required because a leak may exist. While the process is simple, it will not be accurate unless you understand the relevance of each step and perform it properly. This is a precision test. Accordingly, strict adherence to the process is paramount to its success and reliability.
Since this process is designed to find leaks below the oil level, it's critical that the tank is filled to its normal full level. For a 48-inch tank, a fill level between 42 and 45 inches is recommended to assure consistency of data and accuracy of testing. Prior to the delivery, the level of oil in the tank should be measured and the reading noted on the delivery ticket. The delivery person should then fill the tank in the normal manner and stop filling based on the signal from the vent alarm or vent -a fill device. Partially filling the tank only enables us to test to the fill level and invalidates the test due to the reduction of volumetric accuracy. Once the tank has been filled, it should be measured again and the reading noted on the delivery ticket. The readings taken before and after delivery will be used to verify the tank size. The process continues 72 hours after the tank has been filled. Throughout the rest of this process, all tank test measurements should be made at approximately the same time of day to minimize the effect of ambient temperature differences. Weather conditions and temperature must be recorded at each measurement event. Before proceeding to the next step, all oil-fired equipment attached to the tank must be turned off and must remain off for the entire test period, unless a temporary oil supply or flow meter has been connected. At this time, we'll determine the length of the fill pipe by inserting our tape measure into the fill and hooking it on the top of the tank. As long as the fill pipe is 30 inches long or less, a standard 7-foot tank stick will be sufficient for the test. Next, we'll determine the oil level in the tank and check for any water accumulation at the tank bottom. We use both water finding paste and product gauging paste in this step. Product gauging paste makes it easier to see the exact level of oil in the tank and improves the accuracy of the reading by preventing oil from creeping up the stick. Whenever using water or product finding paste, always spread it on the smooth side of the tank stick where there are no increments or numbers. Spreading paste over the measurement markings makes it difficult to obtain accurate readings. Now mark the fill pipe with a permanent marker at the place where you'll insert the tank stick. This is done to ensure that the stick will be inserted at the same spot throughout the entire testing process. Apply product gauging paste to a solid, non-folding tank stick on the area running from 2 inches below to 2 inches above the reading taken after the tank was filled. Carefully insert the stick until it touches the tank bottom and immediately remove it. Read and record the measurement to the nearest eighth of an inch. Clean off the product gauging paste, apply new paste, and measure the tank in exactly the same way a second time, and record this reading as well. If the two readings differ by more than one quarter inch, repeat the measurement procedure a third time and record the reading. The test start level will be calculated by averaging the two closest readings. Next, apply water finding paste to the lower four inches of a different tank stick and gently insert it into the tank at exactly the same marked spot. Leave the stick on the bottom for a full minute. Mark the stick where it meets the top of the fill. Then remove it and record the water level, if any, to the nearest one-eighth inch. Determine the diameter of the tank by subtracting the length of the fill pipe, as measured earlier, from the total length to the marked spot on the stick. Write both the overall length to the tank bottom and the tank diameter on the form. Clean off the water paste, apply new paste, 
and measure again in the same way. As with the previous measurement, if the two water readings differ by more than one quarter inch, repeat the procedure a third time and record this reading as well. If the paste shows water to the full four inches, the test should be terminated and the water pumped out. The test should be rescheduled after the reason for the water accumulation has been determined and corrected. If the paste shows less than four inches of water, the test can continue. Be sure that you've recorded the air temperature reading and the weather conditions. This completes the first step in the measurement process and all equipment can now be properly stowed. At least 72 hours later, the entire measurement procedure is repeated. Record air temperature and weather conditions. Check the oil level using product gauging paste, taking at least two measurements with the stick in the same spot previously marked. Then check the water level using water finding paste. Note all of the readings on the form to conclude your on-site work. For tanks which are out of service for the static test, the data for the two gauging events can be compared. If the level of oil did not change, and the level of water did not change, and the temperature did not vary by more than 5 degrees Fahrenheit, then the tank has met the criteria of the static test process, and it is not suspected of leaking. If any change in level has occurred, or if the tank was left in service, using a meter or other device, additional calculations will be needed to determine if the tank is suspected of leaking. Regardless, records of all static tests need to be validated and reviewed. Even if the tank has met the criteria, if there is water present, it should be removed as soon as possible and an investigation conducted to determine where the water came from. If water continues to enter the tank, it can lead to surface problems and tank failure. Treat water in the tank as a serious problem. Find the source and correct the situation. The usual suspects are broken, loose or missing fill or vent caps or rotted fill or vent pipes. If the measurements from the first and second gaugings differ by more than one quarter inch, a comprehensive data validation and results interpretation phase will be required to determine if the tank might be leaking or is within an acceptable variation. This analysis step is normally performed by an outside specialist. An investigation is also done to see if there are reasons beside a tank leak that can explain the difference in readings. For example, someone may have reconnected the oil burner or there may have been excessive temperature variations during the test period. Such analysis can result in a retest or a recommendation for additional testing by a tank professional before the tank is condemned. NORA's Residential Underground Storage Tank Static Test Process, when properly performed by trained and certified technicians, is a valuable tool that enables oil heat companies to more closely monitor tanks and get early warning of tank failures. It provides a means to reliably evaluate a large number of existing tanks in a rapid and cost-effective manner and identify those that need further testing. Previously, it was not economically feasible to test tanks regularly, and they were often tested only during real estate transactions or when a problem was suspected. This proactive testing process enables us to address potential problems before there are substantial environmental and economic consequences. NORA encourages you to consider using this tank assessment method and providing it as a service to your customers. This will lead to detailed tank histories, effective data comparisons, and over time, more precise monitoring.
Nora's residential underground storage tank static test process is a valuable tool that helps us to keep oil in our customers' tanks where it belongs.